Hey guys, here's just a quick overview or overhead of our homeschool room and then I'll get right into the actual homeschool room tour but I just wanted you to kind of see it all in one shot versus me chopping up each little section. So enjoy! <music> Hey guys, it's Nikki with The Homeschool Life and today I'm going to take you on my homeschool room tour. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that. So now that I have everything cleaned up, partially, I'm gonna take you around. So first of all, let me just say, we homeschool all around the house, but this is like our main headquarters, okay? So let me flip the phone and take you around. Okay, so first off, you're going to notice that I have a lot of things in here that aren't homeschool-like, which is this huge baby grand piano and a wet bar, which, depending on your persuasion, that might be essential to your homeschool. Here, so this, oops, hold on, let me move the doggy gate out the way for our puppy. He likes to poop. So when you first walk in, this, so when you first walk in, you're going to see a multi-shelf full of math manipulatives. And as you can see, a lot of the labels have come off. But um, as you know, math has lots of manipulatives. So we have Cuisinart rods, fraction tiles. We have money stuff. I don't know why we still have money. Um, dice games. We have Matthew C. blocks. Uh, we have so many fractions. Um, rods, geo boards, centimeter cubes. We have measurement stuff, weights and measurements, or geo solids. Over here, we have kind of more stuff. You know what? I'm gonna do a live and I'll just pull everything out and you guys can look at it and see. But for now, we just have more fraction stuff, division stuff, multiplication stuff for weights and measurements. We have some math games in the back and stuff like that. Hey, you. Um, this is also where. Um, they sharpen their pencils and also where if we're working on a topic say um, like a couple of weeks ago We were working on geometry. So we were doing lines shapes angles and things like that So whatever topic we're working on I'll have manipulatives set out here so they can just grab and play with when they first wake up um, These need to go and I think we're doing multiplication next So that's usually what I'll put here. So I'll pull something from here or something from here and I'll set it there so it's easy to see every day and easy to grab. And then right here next to the shelf, I have um, go-to games. So, you know, when it's getting crazy or if the kids just want to take a break, they have games that they can pull from here instead of trying to go up there to grab the game. So I try to rotate those games into this box so it's really easy to get to. Down here is where I keep all the memory work for the kids and some old Bookshark stuff because y'all know Bookshark is so much stuff. And more manipulatives that came in. Um, <laughs> inspiration stuff for the wall that I haven't put up yet, but it's coming. So look, you're doing this with me as we go together. Um, we have some science stuff on the back. This is our periodic table and junk here I haven't put away. These are more go-to games. This is, nobody trying to do Spanish this year. So I still, I have this old calendar from when the kids were in preschool. So we're gonna start really working on that. I haven't kind of like put everything together. Here is, um, for those of you who are familiar with the six traits of writing, it is a writing supplement. I started putting the board together and I can't find the rest of the cutout. So it's kind of like idling here until I get that together. But for those of you who don't know, the six traits, ideals, organization, blah, 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 blah. You see all that. So um, for each kid, um, they'll have, they'll put up here what they're working on for that trait. And um, that, that way they can see at a glance um, how many things they've done for that trait. Okay, so this is a mix of the curriculum, um, bookshelf, and our read alouds, and a few manip manipulatives down there, but, this is where I keep the majority of the read alouds I don't want floating around the house or in their room. Usually I have a 
specific additions or versions that I don't want floating around. And so you can see these are like double rows, triple rows. That's a triple row, I think that's a triple row. And then um, I have a basket of books in there and down there and some stuck in there throughout there. So I really have to organize those books. Um, and then we have our ancient Egyptian history books here. Uh, this is a mix of reading and some, I don't know what I have down here, y'all. And then this is our African history. This is our grammar and spelling area. More read aloud, mainly for the older kid. And then we have math curriculum and supplements. Those are two rows back. More math stuff here, like for Fred, Edward Zachero, some other stuff. Um, and then all of our history, world history, a mix of a little bit of ancient history and US history here. And down here is um, geography and some social science stuff. So you'll see, like this is a favorite, Hungry Planet, Material World, a life like mine, map, maps and geography, some China stuff. And this is a project we did, the kids loved um, passports, we make our own passports as we travel or eat our way around the world. This is um, poetry, philosophical stuff, poems um, back here, and then some, oh, that's where that Beast Academy stuff is. And then some old curriculum that I'm holding for somebody that they need to come get. Over here is science. Um, just a, I think it's all science. Oh, and then like character trait stuff um, and life skills, like seven habits of effective teens, uh, things like that. Um, here are my folders of um, just supplemental um, handouts. Usually a lot of this stuff is from teachers, paid teachers. So this is, um, and then this is our typing CDs. Um, this is some more writing stuff. I don't know why it's here. And then this is our writing section. This is double deep. And um, it's everything from just either curriculum or um, self-help books. And some mentor books are in there as well. And then up at the top, we have games. This whole row, it's all games. And then this row, I'm sorry, this column, I have my teacher supply stuff. This is our yoga and uh, physical activity cards and um, uh, odds and ends, things just to help facilitate physical education. Up here I have um, micro, oops some old microscopes and outdoor field study things. And up at the top is an old money holder thing. Here on this column or on this shelf, I have some more of my supplies. These are my base supplies, my go-to supplies. And then these are incentives for the kids. And this is like all paint stuff. And then I have some more uh, math games. Butterfly catcher up there. This is our Shakespeare <laughs> um, center right here. And, um, and then this is our tax jar for when we don't get stuff done or we're not showing the best character traits. You get taxed at 10 point, um, 10 and a quarter percent. Let's see what else. And then over here is our science section. So everything over here is related to science. We just, I just got this not too long ago um, because my son is getting older, especially as he's preparing for um, high school science. He needs to do wet, wet lab. And so it's kind of hard to get into the community colleges right now, so where you can do those. So we're gonna do our own to make a science, a home science lab. Uh, microscopes, have a couple. Um, a plug and play one. Some molecules, things, we'll be doing biology soon, so I have that stuff out. Um, this is because we're doing ancient African civilization but in like a month or two, so I have it up on the wall. Well, my kids were learning time. You know, this really helped them, so I just always kept it up there. Um, book list, recommendations, things like that, uh, I'll put in here just so I always have, when I'm thinking, oh, what can I get? I just go in there and grab something that I jotted down because I heard it from somebody. This is where we do All About Spelling. That whiteboard stays there, and then the rest of the All About Spelling is in there along with the bookshark and some other junk. These are all of our science books. 
and a little bit of manipulatives. We have science flashcards. These are filled microscopes. These are pretty cool, actually. They're like seven bucks on Amazon. Uh, we have, so this is the astronomy section. This is the biology section. With some manipulatives, we have the human body model, your 3D uh, magnetic skeleton system. You wanna get in biology too? Um, and then we have the felt. This is my favorite one. Our felt um, human body with uh, germs and, and viruses, bacteria, all that stuff. This section here is um, like a go-to uh, catch-all of books. A lot of um, Janice Van Cleve's books. We have some peri periodic table cards and games. My son took a class, he really enjoyed this. And then periodic table tiles, some junk up here. No, and then this is like when we do labs, this is the cover for the table. And then this is just like our experiment drawers, petri dishes, microscope slides, all of that stuff, um, ink, everything, more science books. This, and then for dissections and just lab safety equipment and nature study, I have this. So a lot of um, binoculars, my kids just love to take those everywhere. Stuff to do simple experiments, dissection stuff. Um, this is from Mel Science. I don't know if any of you guys have done that subscription service, but that's some overflow from that. And some chemicals back there, more Mel Science stuff in the back. Okay, I know I'm going by really fast. It's also Sunday night football. This is my fourth graders work box and I have an old video on how we do work boxes but this is basically what it is you have a basket for each subject so we have everything from math all the way down to phonics and then um, we have yes old school radio or CD rather and I do play music and also writing and rhetoric um, our writing curriculum comes with audios we have our world maps our Peters, our Peters world map and we have our Africa map, and we have our US history and then world map. These two are magnetic from Costco. And then we have Skelly, and Skelly went from having false eyelashes and a wig to a little hat, and now he's bare naked. So that's Skelly, our skeleton. And then this is our eating our way around the world. We started this like a year or so ago, and then I kind of dropped the ball, but we're gonna get back into it. For every country that we visit, we're gonna put the country up there. Um, so we know where we've been. Um, our timer, my son likes to use it for a piano or when they're trying to time somebody else because they want something. Um, more books, um, the horrible series. We have the science, the histories, the geography and the math. We have all four parts. And this is kind of like overflow right here. Um, these are more older books, a little bit more mature books, mainly for my oldest son and for me to read with him. But these are mainly history, and then there's some religious um, stuff right here. Oh, that's a little bit of nature study. Um, and then over here we have biographies um, in the back, notable biographies. And then these um, pocket um, stands, I love these for sight words or for vocabulary words. Or if you have anchor charts, they're great for that. Or just to put anything up, you want to hang anything up have that and this is something my son made he never wants to get rid of it about clouds the different kinds of clouds and then this I hope this video looks good because this phone is really shaky okay guys I'm shooting this again okay so this section is just a hodgepodge of stuff I'll start here this is our reference section so we have all of our reference books dictionaries the SARSI um, stamps it's like stamp for like their papers and things like that. Globe, our Spanish, French, and Japanese books here. And then down here we have logic right here. Some manipulatives for phonics and some writing manipulatives like um, prompts and things like that. A fish tank that I'm debating whether to restock because the boys killed the fish. So right now it's kind of acting like white noise and our character traits or inspirational paintings I got off Amazon. These are pretty cool. I'm gonna hang them up there 
so they can constantly read them and be encouraged. These are pretty cool. I think this is really pretty cool. I'm gonna put these in each of the boys' room. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, telescope, which is very, very heavy. The biology section or botany section. These were experiments that failed for these plants. Tropical plants do need sun. That's what I try to tell them. Um, we have a sweet potato that's growing. Actually, we've had this sweet potato for almost a year. And when you stretch out the um, vines that aren't brown and broken off, the vines go all the way over there. We got a carrot. Mm, my son wanted to see it growing underground. <laughs> Unfortunately, out of the, all the seeds we grabbed, it's a mix of purple and orange carrots. We grabbed the purple seed and there you go. And then there's just junk down there just to grow stuff. Sixth graders work box area, nice and junky. And then I have some anchor charts and some other kind of help charts down there. Um, usually I'll have like some bottled water and some snacks, usually seaweed over here. And then the rest is like my husband's like must have coffee area and then some other stuff. Over here we have a, a mix, this is a cluster, a mix of reference, novel unit books, and read alouds, which I have to like organize. So it's just, uh, it spirals, not spirals, it um, rotates. So I'll try to rotate it around. I only have one arm. But yeah, it goes all the way around. I have a piano for my kids to practice. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. I, I try to cover a lot. You know what, I'm gonna go live and that way you guys can ask me questions and if you wanna see something, I can pull it out for you. Like I'm really hot, my husband's making this like four hour beef bouillon, bouillon uh, meal and so the whole house is hot because it takes like three, four hours to cook and I'm sweating. But uh, I just wanted to give you a quick peek. Um, what else am I thinking? So across there is our shop. That's really part two of the homeschool room. That's where I teach life skills, uh, really entrepreneurial skills. So we have a couple of heat presses. I'll take you over there now. And um, a 3D printer. Let's see. So we have um, our heat presses here. And um, our vinyl cutters. The old crickets over there. And um, just a popcorn machine we had. Um, my son had a friend over, so they had some popcorn. Um, this is their maker space area, which uh, we're still putting together right now, but that's kind of like what we have going on. And then, uh, let's see. This is the printing area and my junky area pictures because we have a project to put pictures and photo, and photo albums or whatever. Um, um, oh, forgot. And then um, this is one of our 3D printers. We have another one on the way. And then these are just the, the filaments for the printer. So this area is growing, it's evolving. And then right here, we have all the stuff to keep the kids um, organized. So I gotta fill that out. <laughs> so down the hall, I have a huge white board and then we have upstairs, <laughs> like I have stuff everywhere, but this is like the headquarters as I, as I was saying. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for being patient with me. I hope the camera wasn't too shaky. Uh, I pulled something in my shoulder and uh, I have an MRI on Tuesday. The x-rays were fine, but the MRI hopefully will give us more information. So I've been out for two weeks. That's why I've been kind of dark. Uh, if you want me to do a live, put it down in the comment section. And if I have at least, 10 or 15 people who want to see me go live in the homeschool room and that way I can like pull out stuff, you can look at it, then um, I will definitely do that. So I think I covered everything and that's it. So you know what, let us see your homeschool room. What is something you have to have in your homeschool room? Do you even have a homeschool room? They're not necessary. Like we school all over the house, the kitchen table, their bedrooms, the floor. So it's definitely not necessary if you don't have one. Don't even worry about that. The important thing is just have fun with your kids. So this is Nikki with The Homeschool Life. Um, check out these videos um, up here on your screen. And if you wanna get your free 
homeschool daily plan checklist look down below in the description box it is there and i will see you guys on the next year bye bye